हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग माय डेयर स्टूडेंट्स माय बिलावेड स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर उत्तम कुमार मंडल हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट प्रोडक्शन इंजीनियरिंग नाउ आई वुड से समथिंग रिगार्डिंग माय डिपार्टमेंट प्रोडक्शन इंजीनियरिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई आई एम थैंकफुल टू माय स्टीम कॉलिग faculty member of production engineering sujay chakravarty he made this ppt second one i am thankful to shumun dev lot of uh, pains he has taken for whatever online you are observing or listening uh, whatever you are observing first of all from the behalf of production engineering department i would say something production engineering means what production engineering means 3 m and 3 h are very important factor 3 m means man manufacturing and material manufacturing that means initially you have taken raw material raw material to final product how to complete that means here overview is there production engineering department of national institute of technology agartala offers undergraduate postgraduate and phd courses are there the students are provided knowledge to understand the fundamentals of basic science and humanities interdisciplinary knowledge innovation creative now you see that means creative mind is very very important so whatever i told that means initially raw material how to convert raw material to final product that means conventional machining and non conventional machining is required that means different type of machines are there one is the conventional another is the non conventional machine machine tools so different diagrams are there you will see you will observe conventional machine tool and non conventional machine tool now our in my department total number of faculty members 12 and non teaching staff uh non teaching staff that is number of 4 now my department uh, my department started 2005 uh, 2005 we started the production engineering department the first undergraduate batch rolled out in the year of 2009 2012 13 that means mtech program we started that is seems means computer integrated manufacturing and 2013 we started phd program now already in our department already five uh, phd research scholar that means just he has uh, he got they got the degree now this is our faculty members uh, <coughs> say seven regular faculty member Okay, names are there. Later on, our contractual faculty members are there also. Total number of faculty members twelve. Later on, teaching staffs are there. So nicely, when you will come to the department on our second year, then you will introduce all the faculty members and technical staffs details. Now you see the picture of non-traditional machining laboratory. one is the traditional machining that is conventional machining that means accuracy later you will understand accuracy or precision is very less if you use the conventional machining part that means our mainly our machine shop in first year also we will introduce the different type of machine shops all are basically conventional machining part now here different pictures are there this is the non conventional machining or non traditional machining in non traditional machining that means uh, basically we are uh, use that means higher accuracy or precision tolerance is very very high for non traditional machining with the development of technology nowadays we are using super cnc also it is under also non traditional or non conventional machining now <coughs> different non conventional machine tools are there like cnc lathe cnc milling uh, robot uh, also in our department robotics lab is there also all of the automation part 
fully fully automatic mm. now a picture of metallographic laboratory that means uh, you are measuring the surface roughness that is very very important in our laboratory we are doing that is mainly mtech and phd students they are uh, using this, that particular non traditional machining shop like different type of metallographic laboratories that they are also there it is their picture of the condition monitoring and metal uh, metal casting and forming laboratory and the casting and forming one of the basic important part in our production engineering now you see the strength of materials laboratory that means you should measure the uh, hardness testing of the different material like uh, rockwell hardness testing grinnell hardness testing and vickers hardness testing so different uh, uh, instruments are there used in which we are measuring the like hardness testing of hardness measuring the hardness of the different materials so now later on uh, workshops organized and paper publications all of their details that means it is all are under the research oriented in detail level you will not understand what is uh, you, what is research that part some students are gradually improving but finally that means in your mtech and phd level means it is mandatory part research and research part next time uh, distinguish visitors that means uh, not only india throughout the world different people different experts are visited in our department details all are there also like rajesh prashad indrajit chakravarti different iits different nits also like uh, some uh, people some experts are coming from us also now that is very very important part that is the uh, placement part placement part is very very important part last year around uh, more or less 85% students are placed uh, and also here uh, research and consultancy different parts are there uh, that means uh, we are uh, we are getting the funding different agencies like aict like institute of engineers like another so many like dst departments of department of science and technology now now uh, previous year placement record uh, you observe in the screen that means now different name of the different students are there uh, already i told more or less 85% students are placed and they are getting job in different uh, high profile uh, organization like maruti suzuki like telco like ashok leland uh, like alstom that means different good good companies are there they are getting job not only that our uh, um, or less 20 to 30% students are interested to uh, ms or phd for uh, europe and america and also some students already uh, they are they are getting they are getting uh, ms or phd degree in uh, europe and america different universities later on that means uh, other companies are there also uh, like um, related to like uh, computer based company that means nowadays most of the students are placed in software company some some students are interested for core company like sir uh, we are taking degree from production engineering department so that means finally uh, we want to join core company like alstom like maruti suzuki like telco ashok leland so uh, already our some students are placed now um, now last of all my students uh, i would say something uh, <coughs> that means basic things this is from the shami vivekanand's view that is very very important so i believe in one one means what that is your uh, basic basic character that means your human values and ethics if you put one zero that means you will it will be one converted to 10 suppose some students uh, that means he is a very he or she is a very good 
singer. So that is another zero, 10. Another achievement like another zero, like 100. So like that is 1 to 10, 10 to 100, 100 to 1000, 1000 to like 10,000. That means all that is gradually, that is increasing. So if there is no one, that means all are zero. So Shamiji says, Shami Vivekananda says, that means expansion is life, compression is death. So I think that all the, my all the students to expand yourself. Light is very important. Enlighten you. Enlighten you. And uh, now, uh, last of all, that means another uh, word by Shamiji, that means arise, awake, and stop not till the goal is reached. He has taken the word from Vedanta like Upanishad. In the language of Upanishad, that is Charoi Veti, Charoi Veti, Charoi Veti, means go ahead. Another English poet, he translate another way of Upanishad, like and miles to go, and miles to go, and miles to go before I sleep. Thank all of you.